Hello and welcome to part three of the future of vine weevil control. Today, Andrew and Martin will be looking at combining the two ICL biological products, Seeker and Pitcher, to create an IPM plan for growers moving forward in the future. Martin and Andrew, I'm going to hand over to you now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third webinar for Pitcher, GR, and Seeker. And today, we're going to cover IPM planning. Just to recap from our last webinar, Picture GR can be used within IPM systems. We're also going to go through monitoring and then finally application guidance. Used within an IPM system, Picture can be used alongside other biological controls, uh, but especially now nematodes. As I said in the last webinar, uh, a, a minimum amount of time is needed of at least six weeks after application of picture before applying a beneficial nematodes. Also, before applying the nematodes, it, it, it's very important to ensure the correct species is selected. And also, we need to be considering the soil temperature, which we will cover later on. The use of weak numbers is especially useful as we can track applications of pitcher and beneficial nematodes going through the season. All data should then be collected for review later and then success levels of monitoring can be revisited. Before we start, it's very important that growers understand the ornamental plant species are susceptible to vine weevil attack, especially the larvae. And what we can see here is a list of the main groups of plants that are susceptible. It's very important that the growers make certain they are aware of the crops on their nursery that are at risk from vine weevil attack. Growers do not need to worry about the other species, although monitoring is always preferred throughout the the plant species on the nursery. But what is especially important is that they do understand which plant species are susceptible to attack. As we can see on the second slide, we've also got some herbaceous perennials, but it's also very important to note that hardy nursery stock species and conifers are also susceptible to this very damaging pest. So again, I would urge growers to take note of this list and make certain that they're aware of where these plants are on their nursery and monitoring is undertaken on a regular basis. So what we've got here is a very simple pitcher and seeker decision tree. This is what growers should be doing before they put plants into general population and have a, a clear, defined idea of what they're going to do with the plants before they go into general population. So as we can see with this decision tree, the first thing to consider is, are the plants to be treated, produced by the grower on their nursery? That is very, very important. And what we'll do here is an example saying no. So if the plants that are brought in to the nursery have not been grown by the grower, then as we, we see there, we, dis, we decide to say no. And from there, the grower needs to quarantine these plants and check them for vine weevil. And it's very important to work out what they're looking at. So we're looking for adults, eggs, or larvae. If any of those are seen or suspected to be there, then we go to the next level. So if we say there are, adults present then we select yes from there we make certain that those plants are st stay in quarantine and are not put into general population by the staff if it's adults that are present then picture needs to be applied to those plants depending on the severity of what the grower finds it could be at full or half rate once applied these plants can then be moved to the growing area for monitoring and, and further treatment if the pest reappears. 
the same again if we choose uh, no then basically if there's nothing there that they can see when they inspect the plants on the nursery they can be then moved into the growing area and weekly monitoring can occur and then treat if the pest reappears so this is a very simple decision tree which can be consulted every time plants come onto the nursery or are considered to be a risk of vine weevil attack so go through this very logical process and then what you will find is that the likelihood of vine weevil attacking the plants has been diminished as i said earlier pitcher is fully integratable with nematode applications and can be used alongside beneficial nematodes to their full effect it's very important to use the correct species from the seeker range and help with environmental monitoring with temperature sensors placed within the growing media. Also, the use of a compatible penetrant such as transporter is key if you want to maximise the efficacy levels of the seeker range. It's also important to remember ongoing monitoring of the bind weevil population is very important. And that way you will ensure timely targeted applications of pitcher and seeker and be assured of success. So what we'll do now is have a look at some examples of different plant types and how they can be treated successfully in an IPM situation. So our first example is Heucherus, which are grown in-house and these are then ready to be potted at week 17. So at week 17, we're going to apply a pitcher at 12 grams per square meter to freshly potted plants. The reason for that is in week 17, adults are normally present or are at risk of being present and egg laying will have started. Applying pitcher at this point will protect the plants from that early egg laying stage. Week 24, which gives you plenty of time for the pitcher to dissipate. Seeker bind weevil can be applied as the temperature at that time in this example is 14 degrees centigrade, which means that it's warm enough for seeker bind weevil to be effective. From then on, uh, it's very important that the grower continues with normal monitoring and applications of sprays for adult vine weevil throughout the summer if necessary. Also, the use of adult traps is recommended in the monitoring stage so growers can see what the population and their likely threat is. At week 36, it's then possible if adults are still around to apply a second application of pitcher at 12 grams per square meter if the adults are present. And then moving on to week 42, Further monitoring may still indicate that there's larval stage there. And seeker bind weevil or seeker CT, if media temperature is below 12 degrees C, can be applied to protect the crop over the autumn period. In example two, we now have cyclamen plug plants. These will be received on week 24 into the nursery and the plants will be checked and if need, if need be, they will go into quarantine and be treated as in our first example on the decision tree. After that, they'll be potted into 10.5 centimetre pots. We then recommend that we treat with seeker bind weevil. At week 30, adults are found in traps and pitcher is applied at 24 grams per square metre. Moving on to week 37, Continued monitoring at this point has resulted in low population of larvae in the crop. Again, it is then quite important to treat with seeker bind weevil if the temperature is above 12 degrees C. At week 46, these plants are destined for Christmas sales and there is still the possibility of larvae in the crop. If that is suspected, treat with seeker CT as the temperature data from the sensors now indicates a media temperature of 10 degrees C. After this, monitoring can take the crop through to marketing with hopefully very little damage from vine weevil.
For our third and final example, we now have Taxus nine centimetre liners, which will be grown under protection. On week 40, the plants will be received, quarantined and treated with CKCT. Moving on to week 46, the plants are then potted into 17 centimetre pots. And at that time, adults have been found in the traps. It's then a good time to treat with pitcher at 12 grams per square metre. Monitoring then can then take place through the winter, checking the adult traps and the pots for larvae. This is especially important in protected situations where all stages of the life cycle could be present. On week 10, after extensive monitoring, evidence of a low population of larvae are found. It's then a good idea to treat with seeker CT as the temperature loggers have shown a media temperature of nine degrees C. On week 17, adults have been found in traps. So a good time to treat with pitcher at 12 grams per square meter and continue to monitor. On week 27, more evidence of larvae has been found. So a good time to treat with sea carbine weevil as it has been found that the media temperature is 15 degrees C. And then following on from week 27, the cycle will start again and continued monitoring and treatments if necessary of nematodes can take place. I'm now going to hand you over to Andrew Wilson, who is going to take you through the very important process of application. Hello, I'm Andrew Wilson. Um, Martin has very clearly taken us through all the steps involved in IPM planning for vine weevil control, um, but application is key. So it's really important to get the maximum amount of product onto the pots. Um, and key in this is the foliage is dry when you start applying. And also after application, you dislodge any granules on the foliage onto the pots and obviously irrigate thoroughly after you've applied. Um, and in the first few weeks, it's important that the, the grow media doesn't dry out too much, but obviously that's key to good plant growth anyway. Um, and obviously it's good practice once you've finished application to clean out um, the, the application machinery. Um, and this is a picture of a pot here um, with an application of a pitcher at 24 grams per square meter. And that, that's the highest rate um, that can be applied. And you see there's a nice even um, application. The granules are nice and small, so they're easy to apply. And that's what we're trying to achieve. And there's the several ways of achieving that. Um, you know, in small areas, we can use a gloved hand. Um, we can use some shaker pots with holes in the top to apply, um, spinning disc applicators. I'll show you some photos in a minute. And, and for bigger areas, a motorized blower app applicator. Um, and the key thing about these is that you, you look at the area you want to treat, work out how much needs to be applied to that area, and then make sure it's applied evenly. So you might go over the area once, check it again, see you've still got some material left, and then finish the application. Um, so if, if, if you do that, you know, you'll get maximum efficacy and, and maximum control of, of the pest. Um, and here's a couple of pictures of a couple of machines. There's lots of machines available. Um, the one on the left is a spinning disc applicator. That's a sort of mechanical um, device. Um, you have to sort of calibrate it and be careful how, how much you turn the, the handle. Um, but one, you know, one, once you've used it a few times, it's, it, it's very even in application. And obviously on the right, you've got the powered applicator. The beauty of that product is that once you've applied it, you can go back over the crop and blow the granules you know, back, back onto the growing media so that you get maximum efficacy. Um, and, and it's a nice even um, you know, application rate once you set it. Um, so hopefully, you know, you will, you'll get good control. Um, in the brochure, there's some application rates um, between 12 grams and 24 grams per square meter. And we've got a little table there showing you how much you would use on a hectare, up to 240 grams. Um, and, and really the choice with the rate is whether to use the maximum rate of 240 grams, which you can apply once a year, or whether to use the half rate at 120 grams, and it gives you the option to use it maybe once in the spring and then later on in the summer. Um, you know, to really bring the, the vine weevil egg, egg numbers down. 
So in terms of the application rate, um, there's various tables in the brochure, which is quite informative. And the rate is between 12 and 24 grams per square meter, which is equivalent to 120 kilos to 240 kilos per hectare. Now you can use the full rate once per year, or you can split the rate in, into 220 kilo kilogram batches. This would give you the flexibility to use it twice a year, once in the spring and once in the autumn. You know, particularly if you're monitoring, this this, this could be a good good way of clearing up eggs in the early spring or, or before for the winter. Um, so that's something to consider and we can advise you on that. Um, if you look at the table closely there, you know, the rates are very small and, and it shows the efficiency of the product. But if you're looking at a nine centimeter pot, you know, there's only a, a fifth of a gram per pot. Um, so, you know, it, it's quite a small amount um, to apply. So you need you need to apply evenly. Um, a, a lot of growers are going to come across issues with mixed pots, mixed size pots, you know, in beds. And the rate is the same, you know, per square meter. So, so you know, the, the idea here is to, to, you know, to measure measure the area, work out how much pitcher you need, and then apply it evenly across, across the area and make sure you use the whole amount across the area, applying it evenly. You might have to go back over just, just to finish it off. Um, so, you know, it, 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 it's going to work well, but you need a bit of planning before, before you do it um, to, to make, make sure you apply evenly. Um, and I just thought I'd finish with um, talking about temperatures. You know, with subsequent applications of nematodes, whether it's early in the season or at the end of the season, the, the temperature of the growing media is really important. And we've, we've got a series of, of, of temperature loggers around the country and we've been monitoring temperatures for about 18 months now. And, and this, this graph shows a, a nursery in Scotland, um, just in a protected tunnel. And you can see the temperatures start in August um, and they go right into the autumn. And you can see the average temperature, really, the center of the band between the minimum and the maximum. And, and that gives you a real, a really accurate way of deciding you know, when to apply uh, you know, the standard seeker nematode or the seeker nematode CT. And again, coming into the spring, you can see the temperatures rising. And, and I think this is really important data and, and we're collecting lots of it. Um, so, you know, with, with IPM planning, you know, the planning is key, um, the application is key, and, and that, that will give you the best result. But above all, you need to be monitoring your crop, looking at adult damage on leaves, looking at the growing media, inspecting for the vine weevil larvae. And if you do all that, you will get good control. Thank you very much.